welcome back to my channel I am the Ink Northerner and for this video what I thought I would do is I'd try and start one of the new series that I um, I suggested I was going to do in my sort of wrap up and look forward to 2021 video and this this is probably going to be my five minute or five minute ish reviews and I thought well what better to start off with than the item of the moment and talk about the Evercade. So I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the games, I'm just going to talk about the, the hardware itself, uh, my first initial thoughts with the hardware. As I said in my um, my Christmas pickups video, I got the premium pack, um, so this included the Atari Kart 1, uh, the, well, why don't I just have a look and tell you, um, Namco Museum, the Interplay, collection one and the Atari collection one I played quite a bit on the the interplay one um, that was what I got the, that pack for originally um, but I've not really touched any of the others I also then got uh, the Atari Lynx one and two um, I was in game and I just I picked them up um, back when we were allowed to be in shops but anyway enough of that so let's talk about this handheld so this is what we're talking about everybody's seen it everybody knows what it is um, it's quite a solid machine well let, let's let's start off so I, th this is actually my second one I bought one originally got it um, got it home uh, I got it on Boxing Day um, when I picked it up I got in sat in the, um, in the living room uh, waiting for the football to come on, I thought, well, I'll just I'll stick this on, see what it's like. Tested the first couple of two cartridges, excellent. I was saving the Interplay one, put the Interplay cartridge in, and it wouldn't turn on. And it also, so when I pulled the cartridge out, turned it on, put the cartridge in, it didn't recognise the cartridge. So I was a little bit disappointed at first, but obviously I, I had full guarantee and everything, so I took it back um, day after, I think. Um, day after Boxing Day or the day after uh, and they, we checked it in store checked the new one box on the other one was a bit bashed so I swapped the boxes around the, the guys in, in my local game loved me because there was a lot of issues with my um, with my game reward card so so yeah enough of me rambling so my first thoughts on it if it turns on without a cartridge in it's got a lovely clear screen you can see the the blaze entertainment coming up there it should play the evercade noise um there's a little bit of crackling on that but i think that's actually the way it's supposed to sound it's supposed to sound sort of up 80s 90s retro um it needs charging does mine but um as you can see you get please insert cartridge i'm gonna turn that off now so having played on it i'm a bit i'm not 100 percent sure why the buttons are laid out the way they are because um, from memory I'm sure they've been there the different or opposite ways around um, but it's um, the d-pad on it is, is fantastic absolutely brilliant d-pad these are a bit like mouse clickers as you probably potentially hear if I put it to my mic um, but they're still reasonably good it allows you to do safe states etc um, just to compare it to some of the other handhelds, uh, I know this is relatively old, so it's pointless comparing it. But obviously, there's the Game Boy Advance. It's slightly larger than the Game Boy Advance. It holds better for me than the Game Boy Advance did. Does even? Then we have my PSP, or one of the two I've got. Um, so the PSP is a lovely handheld, but it's a bit heavy, and gets heavier when you put a USB in it. Oh, mine's got a USB in it. Um, it's got the Mega Drive collection in it. That might be explain why it wasn't in the box. Um, but you know, it's the screen is, is amazing on the the PSP. Um, same size screen as the Evercade, but it's not. Um, the Evercade is a lot lighter. And then obviously the best handheld for me on the the market being the V. Well, apart from the DS, um, but the Vita. The Vita is sort of a perfect handheld great size fits in your hand perfectly and then it, so the Evercade is great it's not it's not massively heavy um, it's 
it's great I love the colouring I think the colouring's amazing um, I would like to be able to potentially uh, get something that will slip round it to change it from a red to maybe a blue but that that's just a that's just me um, but you no know, absolutely fantastic um, covering I've not played with it on TV yet um, which was partly why I was going to do some of the I'm gonna do the game separately I want to see what it's like on the TV maybe maybe um, record some of it on the TV or just give my thoughts of it on the TV but yeah all in all from what I've played of it so far for what they cost um, for the amount that you get for it I think it's a, an excellent excellent little handheld um, obviously everybody else seems to do as well because there's loads of people buying them um, my interest in it came from watching UK Krauts videos um, if you're not subscribed to him I'll put a link in the in the description but um, but yeah I, I mean I've even seen I think um, uh, Metal Jesus had one that was talking about it in a video I've, I've seen as one of my uh, suggested videos but yeah I, all in all excellent little handheld um, I'm not going to go into too much depth on it but uh, but yeah so that's pretty much it that's my sort of first five minutes or so review um, admittedly this is run into the six six minute but who cares um, this is the sort of things that they're going to be uh, they're just going to be quick fire reviews of stuff um, probably games um, well definitely games probably some hardware maybe even something like a controller um, my thoughts on controllers I might even start talking about some films given that I have the interest in films you maybe even get me talking about a wrestling pay per view who knows um, but they will only be quick fire short videos um, so yeah that was the first one of this series I, hopefully I'm going to get better at it because I'm going to be doing more of these um, all that's left for me to do is thank you for watching I have been the Ignore and I'll catch you on the next one